pharmaceutical companies that poured their hearts into this thing and, and gave, you know, so much money. And the idea that there's ill intention or, or anything like that is just unbelievable. No good deed goes unpunished, Bill, especially when you involve Garden State bureaucracy. Shorehenge, the massive concrete Hurricane Sandy Monument in Highlands Borough, must come down. According to a letter from Borough Attorney Bruce Padula, he writes to Tilt Up Concrete Association, who he says erected the monument without proper permitting. Tilt Up Managing Director Mitch Bloomquist calls that a shame. You had such a great potential for this to be a really celebrated thing, and, and it seems like there's a handful of people that are really against it. The letter states that the monument was put up without a CAFRA permit. That's the Coastal Area Facility Review Act. Padula, the borough attorney who wrote the letter, told me simply that he wrote the letter that the borough ordered him to write. I was directed by my client, the borough, to send a letter to Tilt Up Association, who constructed the monument, asking them to remove the project. Tim Hill, Bill, the borough administrator, told me that the permit had to do with a gazebo that had been in the space before the monument was built. Uh, it was just dedicated October of last year, designed by world-renowned architects. It's boxy and weird from the outside like a bunker, but once you're inside, uh, I found it beautiful, a, a very peaceful space, shaped holes in the ceiling that allow sunlight through. Bloomquist can't understand why it's doomed since he says that all guidelines were followed and the town was coordinated with on permitting every step of the way. Now, Bill, I did talk to a DEP spokesman who says that a permit still could be obtained. Uh, it's the town's ball game to apply for it if they want. Cost $3,000 to apply for that particular permit. And it would be considered by DEP officials, but I'm told that a letter from DEP back in December is the reason why the take it down letter was written. Padula's letter says Tilt Up should contact him to arrange for removal of it, but it's 175 tons, <laughs> 350,000 pounds worth of concrete. It might be easier said than done. Well, you'd think it would be cheaper to pay for the permit, though, than to take this thing down. You what can pay the $3,000 application fee, but it doesn't guarantee that the permit gets issued. I mean, it's it's pretty ugly. It looks like a it looks like a prison waiting area. It's so ugly that it should be taken down. Yeah, and I mean, it's kind of a shame that they didn't think about that on a beach where you know that the DEP is doing all the permits for any beach action that they should have thought about that ahead of time. But on the other side of this, the flip side, if the town doesn't have a problem with it, why isn't the state working with the town in order to ensure that they can keep this memorial? You can't build something like this, turn around and say we don't like it when the township officials approved it every step of the way. Now they're turning around and saying it has to be taken down. There's something that's not being said here.